what's up everyone so this is yet another ORC tutorial and today we will be covering absolute value functions given three points all right so let's start with this like um kind of edge case that i will call on the same side so these three points very nicely placed points for the sake of demonstration we have negative one two zero four and one six now what's very tricky about this is that once we solve for the slope we kind of realize that they're collinear so i'll just leave it as like kind of an exercise to check that these three points are cold in fact collinear to each other so here decimals tells us that it is but we can never be sure all right next aside from this so like it's collinear so what now well we cannot determine the absolute value function because if we try we can have this so in this case it's like as if we could but then we also have cases like so let me just remove this for now we also have another case that is like this, which is actually the original absolute value function, which I based these points off. So as you can see, they're here. And then finally, we could actually literally have any absolute value function. And it satisfies that those three points. So as you can clearly see, will 100% not work. So let me actually just... Uh, change this to like fifth negative fifteen to add emphasis. So let's say like like that. See like those, all of those, all of the values for a, it will work. It will work. So we can clearly see that it won't um, be able. You cannot determine the absolute value function unless, unless they either tell you like oh the vertex is at this certain y value, or if you know like let's say like oh negative one two is apparently the vertex in which case this one will be the only absolute value function that is possible which is a very like um isolated case per se but they can always do that so i think that is all that i'll say for on the same side functions but i must mention also that if this is only true like you cannot find the other absolute value function if they are on the same side of the aos so if you recall the aos is the axis of symmetry this is the axis of symmetry of the absolute value function as this is the x value of its vertex so as you may see it's actually on this side so if we shade it there we go. So if we shaded that part, we can realize that, oh, all of this, and definitely including these three points, they're all on the axis of symmetry. So therefore, that's when we call it the case of the three points same side or the on the same side functions. So that is for the first part. That is the first case, rather, that I would want to discuss.